Zendia National Laboratory, where history is made. Zendia was born in the same week as the world's first full-scale atomic bomb test, Trinity, in 1945. Then called Z Division of Los Alamos Lab, its focus was on the design, testing, and assembling of the non-nuclear portions of nuclear weapons. On November 1st, 1949, Sandia became its own entity. It was managed and operated by the Sandia Corporation, a wholly owned subsidiary of Western Electric, part of the Bell system. In a letter to Bell leadership, President Harry Truman called it an opportunity to render an exceptional service in the national interest. This phrase has remained Sandia's motto and our overall goal to this day. In the 1950s, the Eisenhower administration placed an emphasis on military superiority. For Sandia, the stress was on designing weapon components to ensure reliability, safety, and security with little maintenance, taking advantage of more sophisticated technology. Sandia bustled with the influx of new projects and people, growing to over 7,000 employees in 1957. In 1956, Sandia also opened a second laboratory in Livermore, California to support the new growth. Sandia opened the 1960s with a revolutionary breakthrough in clean room technology that made possible modern microelectronics manufacturing. It also began diversifying in the 60s and 70s, leveraging its incredible experience and facilities to begin work on a broad scope of scientific and engineering challenges. Sandia made significant impacts on satellite technology, component testing of rockets, anti-terrorism programs, nuclear power safety, and energy research. By 1976, energy and other non-nuclear weapons work had grown to almost a quarter of Sandia's annual budget. In the early 80s, Sandia wrapped up work on several big weapons programs. At the same time, emphasis shifted, in part, to new defense programs. Sandians also kept busy and made history in late 86 with the first firing of the huge multi-purpose particle beam Fusion Accelerator 2, a machine used both for weapons research and fusion energy research. In Livermore, the Combustion Research Facility opened its doors to researchers worldwide. The 1990s brought several transitions with the end of the Cold War and an active push for innovative tech transfer, partnering increase with U.S. industry and universities on common interests. Work in robotics and intelligence systems also expanded. Amazing progress was made at the micro scale, producing working machines with gears no larger than a grain of pollen. In 1993, AT&T left its role as M&O contractor for the labs and Martin Marietta, who later became Lockheed Martin, assumed the contract. The Department of Energy introduced the Science-Based Stockpile Stewardship Program to ensure the safety, security, and reliability of the U.S. stockpile without nuclear testing. The Accelerated Strategic Computing Initiative was established to support the move from test-based to science and simulation-based support of the stockpile. Sandia's ASCII Red Computer was the fastest in the world from 1996 into 2000. With tremendous momentum, Sandia launched into the 21st century. It took a critical part in the nation's new nanotechnology initiative to explore atomic and molecular maneuvering and refurbish the Z-Machine Pulsed Power Facility, expanding its ability to replicate nuclear detonations. When crises and emergencies struck, Sandia had technology and personnel ready to serve. The labs offered rescue technology and analysis during 9-11 and had decontamination foam ready to deploy during the subsequent anthrax scare. It helped NASA understand the underlying cause of the Space Shuttle Columbia accident and later on, the potential and long-range impacts of Hurricane Katrina. Sandia's expertise also brought technical solutions to help stop the Deepwater Horizon oil leak and mitigate the Fukushima nuclear power plant failure. Meanwhile, nuclear weapon life extension programs moved to the forefront developing materials and safe and reliable components to extend the life of our nation's nuclear deterrent. Today, under the management of NTES, Sandia continues to stand as a beacon for advanced scientific and technological achievement. With the variety of work and its consistent emphasis on national security, Sandia has truly diversified from a nuclear weapons laboratory into a multi-mission national security laboratory. Now and in the future, whether it's national defense, energy and climate, or global security, Sandia National Laboratories is committed to providing solutions to the most challenging problems that threaten peace and freedom for our nation and the world. <laughs>